Hello everyone. This is the Divya, Assistant Professor, Department of English, a faculty from Madhuri Sivahasi Nara's Pineo Minakshi Women's College. In this video, let us discuss voice, which is a major part in English drama. By definition, voice is the form of verb that shows whether the subject is the doer or performer of the action or the recipient or sufferer of the action. Voice tells us whether the subject of the sentence is doing an action or whether the su subject of the sentence is the receiver of an action. Under these lines, we have two types of voices. They are active voice and passive voice. By definition, active voice is if the subject is the doer of the action, the sentence is an active voice. If the something is done upon the subject, the sentence is in passive voice. If we have a sentence, for example, in Ganesh sings a song, the subject Ganesh does an action called singing. Whereas in the sentence, a song is sung by Ganesh, the subject, a song, is not the doer of the action, it is the result of the action that a song is sung by Ganesh. The active voice is so called because the person denoted by the subject acts. In active voice, the subject is doing an action. That is why it is called as active voice. Whereas in passive voice, the subject is not performing an action. It is not active but passive. That is why it is called as passive voice. So we are, we are coming to know that the subject is the doer of the action, whether the subject is the receiver of an action. If it is a doer of the action, it is an active voice. If it is the receiver of an action, it is a passive voice. Transitive and intransitive verb. We may ask, why do we deal with transitive and intransitive verb in voice? Because only a transitive verb can be changed into passive voice. And if a sentence has intransitive verb, it cannot be changed into passive voice. Transitive verb denotes an action which passes over from the doer or subject to an object. If a verb raises questions like who, who, which, that kind of verb is transitive verb. So, if a sentence has an object, that sentence can be changed into passive voice. Whereas, if a sentence doesn't have an object, that sentence cannot be changed into passive voice. If a sentence has, a object, has an object, for example, in Suresh wrote a letter, we have an object called a letter. And that can be changed into passive voice. We can change it as a letter was written by Suresh. And in the next sentence, he advises me. In this sentence also, we have an object called me. And that sentence can be changed as I am advised by him. What is intransitive verb? An intransitive verb denotes an action which does not pass over to an object. So, in a verb, in a, in a sentence, if the verb is intransitive, it will not have an object. If a verb raises questions like why, where, how, and then, that kind of verb is intransitive verb. A sentence without transitive verb cannot be changed into passive voice. So, we, if a sentence has an intransitive verb, that cannot be changed into passive voice. In the sentence, they are sleeping, we don't have an object. It is subject and verb only. And then in the next sentence, he went to Chennai. And Chennai is not an object here. So, went is not a transitive verb. It is an intransitive verb. So, these two sentences cannot be changed into passive voice. To be very simple, if a sentence has an object, it can be changed into passive voice. Whereas, if a sentence doesn't have an object, it cannot be changed into passive voice. 
Let us slowly move into the rules for changing active voice to passive voice and vice versa. The first rule is that a subject in the active voice becomes object in the passive voice. For example, in the sentence, he met me, the subject he becomes the object by him in passive voice and the object me becomes I, the subject in the passive voice. Object in the active voice becomes subject in the passive voice. This is the first rule. Rules for changing active to passive. Second rule is that the verb in the active voice changes into the past participle form. So in all the tenses, we are going to use the third form that is verb 3 that is also called as past participle form. Then to mention the tenses, we use the be verbs that are used for all the tenses. For example, the be verbs like am, is, or was, were, being, and been are used to tell us which tense the sentence is in. For example, in the sentence, the, they played cricket. Cricket is changed as the subject. Then we use was to denote that it is a past tense and Play the third form of the verb is used and then we use by them. In the sentence, girls are dancing kathakali. In the sentence, as it is present continuous tense, to mention that we use is being and then we use past participle form. This is the second rule of changing the active voice to passive voice. The third rule is that we should use preposition by in passive voice to give complete sense to the sentence. Without by in the sentence, the sentence may look incomplete. For example, if we say many idlis were eaten uma, that sentence is incorrect. To make the sentence correct, we use the preposition by in passive voice. And in the second sentence, she planted a tree. A tree was planted by her is used. So we use by the preposition to make the complete sense in the sentence. Next, let us discuss each tense in details and what are the forms of verbs and how it changes into uh, changes when it is changed into passive voice. The first tense we are going to see is present tense. In this present tense, we use the form verb or verb plus s plus es. Verb or verb plus s or es. When it is changed into passive voice, as usual, we are going to use the form past participle, but here we use am or is or are. We can use either am or is or are. In the sentence, he sings a song melodiously, a song and sings as sings is the present tense, we use is. Third form of the verb sung melodiously by him. Leela meets me every Sunday and in this me object becomes I and we use am. Third form of the verb met by Leela every Sunday. I write letters. Letters are written by me. This is how we should use present tense. Next one is present continuous tense. Am, are, is, are, are plus verb plus ing. That is the general rule for present continuous tense. When it is changed into passive voice, we'll have to add being and then use we we'll have we can use past participle. So the form for present continuous tense in passive voice is am, is, are plus being plus past participle. We are playing cricket, cricket is being played by us. I am writing a letter. A letter is being written by me. My teacher is advising me. I am being advised by my teacher. The next tense we have here is present perfect tense. Have or has plus past participle is the form of present perfect tense. Here we just add being to the active voice that is have or has plus being plus past participle he has written a letter a letter has been written by him rani has typed the letters the letters have been typed by rani 
they have finished the work. The work has been finished by them. The next tense we have here is past tense and the form of past tense is we do that is verb to second form of the verb and when we change that into passive voice we'll have we'll have to add either was or were along with past participle form. The king punished the guilty. The guilty was punished by the king. They ate many apples. Many apples were eaten by them. I wrote a letter. A letter was written by me. The next tense we have is past continuous tense. The form of the tense is was or were plus verb plus ing. When we change that into passive voice, we'll have to add being was or were plus being plus past participle. I was writing a letter. A letter was being written by me. We were singing a song. A song was being sung by us. They were playing chess. Chess was being played by them. The next tense we have is past perfect tense. Had plus past participle. We will have to add been to that. So the rule is had plus been is past participle. He had destroyed the documents. The documents had been destroyed by him. I had written a letter. A letter had been written by me. Next one, simple future tense. Will or shall plus verb that can be changed into passive as will or shall plus be plus past participle. We'll have to add be and then we'll have to change the verb as v3. I'll write a letter. A letter will be written by me. I shall sing a song tomorrow. A song will be sung by me tomorrow. The next tense we have here is future perfect tense. Will plus have plus past, past participle. And it have, we'll have to add been. Will have been plus past participle. I will have written a letter. A letter will have been written by me. She will have bought a sari. A sari will have been bought by her. Then we have moral accessories. Before getting into moral accessories, uh, I would like to tell you that for the tenses, uh, future continuous tense and all the Perfect continuous tenses, present perfect continuous tense, past perfect continuous tense, future perfect continuous tense. We don't have any passive form. When we use moral auxiliaries, we'll have to add be after that. If we have can, it can be changed into can be, could can be changed into could be, may, may be, might, might be, must, must be, ought, ought to be. Sorry, ought to, ought to be. Examples. He can picture the scene. The scene can be pictured by him. You could do the work. The work could be done by you. You should open the box. The box should be opened by you. Even though these are moral auxiliaries, we will have to use verb 3 only in the passive form. After adding B, we can use V3. Trans to verb but two objects can have two passive forms. If a sentence has two objects, we can have two passive forms. For example, in the sentence, she gave me a car on my birthday, we have two objects. A car here is the direct object, me is the indirect object. So we can either <coughs> make the direct object as a subject or the indirect object as the subject. For example, we can take a car as the subject and write the sentence as a car was given to me on her, sorry, sorry, uh, by her on my birthday. Then we can also change me as the subject and write the sentences. I was given a car on my birthday by her. The next sentence, the teacher gave us a test in the sentence. As is the indirect object, a test is the direct object. If we use a test as the subject in the passive voice, we can write as a test was given to us by the teacher. 
if we are going to use as u as 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 the subject we have v v van given a test by the teacher one thing we will have to remind ourselves is that while using these things if we are going to add direct object as the subject we will have to mention the indirect object in the sentence we should not leave that out If the verb is in the active voice, if the verb in the active voice is followed by a preposition or an adverb, it should not be left out in the passive. For example, they looked after the children very well. The children were well looked after. So, we will have to add that well adverb here. We should not leave that out. People always laughed at him. So, here the preposition at is used. We will have to write it as he was always laughed at. While writing the sentences in passive voice, we should be very sure whether we have added all the information given in the active voice. We cannot omit any details. Next one we have here is interrogative sentences. While changing the interrogative sentences, we have many types, yes or no types and <coughs> WH types, two types of questions we have. While changing the yes or no type questions, we should mention the tense of the sentence. For example, in the first sentence, do you know him? On saying the word do, we know that it is a present tense. So we can use the present tense V verbs is am or are. And we will have to use the verb. Him will become the subject as he. And third form of the verb is known. And we will use to you. Are you writing a letter? Is a letter being written by you? So here also we are using is. Because a letter is the singular subject. And we are using being. Because it is continuous tense. And written by you. If we are going to have question words, that is WH type questions, we should use the question word exactly and then we can change the sentence. For example, in the sentence, when do they wash the car? We can use when and then we will have to look at the tense of the sentence as it is do, it is present tense. So as the car is the singular subject, we use is, then we use the subject car and then third form of the verb washed. The next sentence is, has she opened the door? Has the door been opened by her? So, we can use the tense as we use that in present perfect tense. But we will have to put the word has before to make it as a question sentence. Who wrote Macbeth? So, while using who, we can change that into by whom. And then we use was because wrote is the past tense. And Macbeth and third form of wrote is written. The next category is imperative sentences. Send me the parcel. For that we use let. So for all the imperative sentences, the first thing to change is to put the word let. Then the parcel becomes a subject, the parcel, and we will have to add B. We have already told that we should add B while we are using modelized rules. Now we are using the word B. And then third form of the verb sent and to me. Punish him. Let him be punished. Run fast, please. So while using please, we can write it as you are requested to run fast. Pay the bill today. Let the pay, the, sorry, let the bill be paid today. In certain sentences, while we are using it in passive voice, we need not use by. I know him, he is known to me. If we use he is known by me, the sentence is incorrect, so we should use he is known to me. Her conduct surprised me. I was surprised at her conduct and not by her conduct. We should use at her conduct. This jug contains water. Water is contained not by this jug. 
we should use in this jet. So while changing it into passive voice, we should be very sure the sentence structure is right. If the sentence structure is not right, the sentence will become wrong. So according to that, we can use prepositions instead of by. Next one is infinitives. It is time to drink tea. So we use again be here and then third form of the verb. It is time for tea to be, to be drunk. You have to inform me at once. I have to be informed at once by you. To sum up, I would like to tell you that while changing the active into passive, we'll have to remind three things. First one is subject into object and object into subject. Second one is tense of the sentence. We should not change this tense. We can only change the verb into V3, then we'll have to provide the right V verbs for the particular tense. And then the next one is we should use by to make it as a complete sentence. So at times we may work by if the sentence is right. We may use proportions to make the sentence right. Thank you.